more than 20 years at this game. Johnson here moves all in with a couple of sixes. Nakanishi finds two fours into the muck. Those go. Ace queen here for Rocco on the button. The shove is 1,125,000 from Johnson. You could put it that way. So a little bit over five and a half big blinds. Remember, Johnson recently had a runner up finish in the $1,500 monster stack here at the World Series of Poker. That finish less than a week ago. Johnson taking second from a field of 8,704 entries. Rocco makes the call. Everyone else out of the way, and here we go. All in and call. Johnson, the player at risk with a couple of sixes, flipping against the ace, queen of diamonds for Michael Rocco. Good luck, guys. Huh? We need them to survive. I want the 3K bounty. Yeah. We need them to survive. I want the 3K bounty. Jack, Jack, huh? three. Two hearts, one diamond out there. The sixes remain best for Johnson. Ace of spades on the turn. That drills Rocco. You can see there in the forefront of your screen, Johnson getting up out of his seat. He's going to need a six on the river. There is only one left because the six of spades was folded. Jack of spades on the river. That is not going to do it. We are going to lose Minnesota's Aaron Johnson. He takes home ninth place here in the $10,000 Super Turbo Bounty. A little bit over $45,000 in prize money for him. Gylik here, ace four off. Pushing a big stack of chips forward. Gylik with a little over six big blinds. You see the rail there. I see now Farrell out there. I see Chris Mormon. Guy like not all in, but does move the majority of his chips in. Action over to Boyka, King Queen. He goes all in. I'm ahead. Guy like calls it off, and he is ahead. That is right. Ace four up against King Queen. Guy like the player all in and at risk. Here comes the flop. King, eight, six. Boyka connecting with that king. Takes the lead here. I like looking for an ace. Ten of hearts on the turn is not going to do it. An ace and an ace only to keep Gylik alive. Five of diamonds on the river. We are going to lose Ludovic Gylik in eighth place. $58,600 for him. His chips heading over to Alexei Boyga, the chip leader, who increases his lead. He adds a $3,000 bounty. Finds 10 5 off, and there is that 70K going into the middle. Boykin next to act has King Jack off. Bounties at play, of course. $3,000 on everyone's head. Boyka did min raise to 500,000. Action over to Rocco, he gives it up. And aces for Buell, look at this.
what a time to find a couple of aces for Steve. He might have well. the best fold I've ever seen. You and Sav are all are close. Like coolest pitch. Uh, two, two ten. You guys are pretty close. Either one he is though. Well plays it slow, just calls out of the big blind. Keeping his hand as disguised as possible here. There is a side pot and a main pot. The main pot is what Anton Saud is vying for. He is all in and at risk here. Buell and Boyka still action on the side. Five, three, deuce with a couple of spades. Boyka thinks it over, but then checks behind. Nine of clubs on the turn. thousand from Buell. Boyka has just king high here. Again, Buell was the pre-flop raiser after Saud went all in from under the gun for his last 70k. Buell elected to just call from the big blind. Boyka gets out of the way. Saud's not dead yet. He did connect with that five, so. This was fact. And this was fact. He's going to need a 10 or a 5 here to crack these aces from Buell and stay alive. If not, Buell's going to earn his $3,000 bounty. River card is the deuce of diamonds. Not the card Sout needed. And Buell rakes in that pot with aces. There is the jam from Oliver Weiss. King Jack off for Funaro, but... Doesn't look as good with the action in front of you like this. He gets out of the way. Now it's on Buell. He's got those tens. Does he want to put his chips at risk? And there is the call. And here we go. This is a huge flip, flip. with more than 11.5 million in the middle. Vice almost can't believe it that he's in this situation with the ace king. Geht für, für alles gerade drinne. Für innen, für Ace King gegen Tens. Suicide wieder. 977, the Tens remain in front for Buell. King, King on the turn. Vice takes the lead. He connects with that cowboy. Well, now needs to find a 10 on the river. Let's go. Three of clubs. Vice takes this one. Yeah, cover. Rocco flicks in a call. We're going to get heads up to this flop. More than 1.6 million out there. Nines for Boyka. Eight, seven of diamonds for Rocco. And this is an action flop. Five, five, four with a couple of diamonds. Rocco has two overs to the board. He's got diamonds. He's got not only an inside straight draw, but an inside straight flush draw. Boyka, of course, with the over pair to the board. Ultimately, two pair for him, nines and fives. Rocco first to act here. Huh? Jetzt habt ihr da gesehen und habe ich dich nicht gesehen? Boyka comes with a raise, makes it 850,000 to go. Action back on Rocco now. Ich weiß, wir haben noch nicht so lange gespielt. 
Eine Stunde Delay. Rocco clicks it back. There's the jam from Boyka. Rocco snaps it off. And here we go. Gunshot flush draw over pair. It is Rocco's draw up against Boyka's over pair. 11 outs for Michael Rocco. If he hits one of them, Boyka's going to hit the rail. Almost 9 million in the middle. Turncard is the queen of clubs. The nines stay best for Boyka. Still 11 outs for Michael Rocco. He's looking for a diamond or a six. It is the six of diamonds, a straight flush for Michael Rocco. The nines go down in flames for Boyka, and he's out the door. Min raise to 800,000. Not gonna, she's got ace nine off. I have like seven million. Just gonna think this one over. Six nine. <laughs> Behind all with that. Six nine to start. If you had five nine, yeah, thanks. Nakanishi does move all in. How much? Action folds back to Fernaro, and he's going to get a count here on this jam. How much exactly? Two, three, two, six, two, seven. Two, seven, thirty-five. And Fernaro makes the call. And here we go. Funaro's Queen Ten of Diamonds up against Nakanishi's Ace Jack off. Nakanishi with the best hand, but these two are very much flipping. Nakanishi is all in and at risk here. Ace nine is at risk. No shortage of action at this final table. Queen Ten soll gewinnen, aber dann wird's halt deep dreihandet. Also wird halt dann even stacks, ist nicht so geil. Queen, Come on. nine, four, two diamonds. Flip. We two already four saw four one straight flush today. Mm. It was made by Michael Rocco when he took out Alexi Boyka. Flip. Will we see another one here? Really? 18 outs for Funaro. Eight of hearts Ooh. on the turn. You see all of the outs for Frank Funaro stretched across the top of your screen. That's what Nakanishi needs to fade. Yes. And he does it with the three of clubs on the river. <laughs> Japan's Shoto Nakanishi yeah. doubles up, gets back up in front of Frank Funaro on the leaderboard. Wow. And he's in there as well. We got a three-way all-in. Three-way all-in. Here we go to a flop. Eight, six, oh, five. Oh, oh. hits two pair. <laughs> Rocco's open-ended. He's got that seven that slides in there nicely. Not much there at all for Vice. You can see he has 3% here to win this hand. King on the turn. That does help Vice. Five or three or King? Yeah. The all important river card next. And here we go. Straight. Four of diamonds. Rocco makes a straight. He is going to triple up. Vice goes down to Nakanishi. He is eliminated in fourth place for $199,000.
And we are down to three-handed play. Piece of WSOP hardware, ace seven off here. Probably gonna see a jam against Rocco in the big blind. There's the jam and a couple of sevens for Rocco. He's gonna call it off and he's gonna be in a great spot to double up is Michael Rocco. A seven, seven. Seven, 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 eight. <laughs> yep. Michael Rocco, the at-risk player here, <laughs> needs his pocket sevens to hold. Nakanishi could claim another bounty if he can come from behind here. Ace, king, six. Nakanishi does vault into the lead here, <laughs> spiking that ace, and he's all smiles right now. And because he holds a seven, Rocco's got one out. Nine of clubs on the turn. Michael Rocco's going to need the seven of diamonds on the river, or he's gonna be out in third place. King of clubs on the river. And Michael Rocco has been eliminated from the $10,000 Super Turbo Bounty in third place. He's going to take home $283,000 in prize money, plus any bounties that he won along the way. It did look like he had a stack of about 10 or 11 bounties with him, so that would be another $30,000 or so in prize money that Rocco pockets. Bernaro limps. It's been a battle of two strategies so far. Funaro's been taking more of a conservative approach. Nakanishi jams. Funaro's gonna call it off here, and he's gonna be in a great spot yeah, no, for a no, double no three. here. No three, no three. Funaro's queen no, jack again. up against no, Nakanishi's three three. Three. queen three, no, three. of hearts. Queen three, queen jack. Queen three. No three. <laughs> no three. If Funaro holds, he's going to shoot himself up into the chip lead. If not, Nakanishi is going to be our champion of event number 57. Son, son. <laughs> Don't speak Japanese, English only. <laughs> Nine, six, five. So far, so good for Funaro. Nine on the turn. <laughs> Seven on the river. Funaro scores a huge double up here. Takes the chip lead. Jack six of diamonds for Funaro. He's all in. Nakanishi's got ace nine off. He's gonna call this off and here we go. Four million in chips. Funaro with the Jack Six of Diamonds looking to secure first place. Whoa. Jack Six Four. <laughs> Funaro, top two pair. Nakanishi's chances are slim, but he's not out of it yet. Let's go! Jack on the turn. Full house for Frank Funaro. The whole oh funk. Takes home his second World Series of Poker gold bracelet. He wins event number 57, $10,000 Super Turbo Bounty here at the 2024 World Series of Poker.